Hello, today we will study the function of curtain design. Now, as we can see, the interface of all design software. Firstly, let's move it to the tools and then left click on it. We select uh, curtain design. Here, we click a new, then we choose it uh, uh, 3000 and 2000. Click on OK uh, here. We, why we have this function in a curtain design? Because we can mix curtain body, curtain box, curtain gauze, curtain rod, and valance together to create different styles of curtain. And uh, now we choose the curtain valance. And then we will show you the effect. Okay, how to put it here? We just left click on it and drag it to the window. And uh, here, it, then it will be paved here. And uh, then right click on it. We can select every. Then the, the valence will be paved full in this part. And uh, we can also use this function and use other curtain valence to try. I change this one and this one. And then let's add it to this one. And uh, in our software, if we don't want it, then we can delete it. And then we can drag it again. And double click on it. Move the, the black dots to change the size. Then when we change it to what we want, right click on it, select area. Now, as we can see, it pump up a dialog box here and here the flag we don't want it so we need think ways to cut this out and then we move the flag from left to right and here also the wheel we can move it to here let's see the difference in the upper side now the flag already gone and then like this and then we can also a little bit like this then move the mouse here drag it from left to the right like this and until it come becomes the size of what we want then we move the mouse away and then we, then we can also click on the close because we already decorated this part very well it's what we want the effect and uh, after this we if you want it to be perfect you can keep adjusting the flag little by little to change the effect and here this one also and then we click on it and if we don't want it, then we can delete the balance. Okay, now we start to make a new curtain. Then we find the curtain body. We drag it to the left side and then keep dragging another time to the right side. Also left click on it to here. And now we give it a curtain balance. And then we find it. How to do? We just left click on it and move it to here. Right click on it, select every, and then we give it a curtain gauze. Left click on it. If we don't like it, then we can change it. Just in one second, it can be changed. Okay, then we choose this one. And then we can give it other curtain uh, parts. Then we choose the rod. We can choose this one, this one, and this one. Until we find the one we want and we like. Then we can give it a curtain box. Then we choose this one. Double click on the lid. Then we can adjust the size from big to smaller. And also we can right click on it, select the neat box. And here, we can go on give it some decorations like the 
other. If we want to drag this flower here, double click on it. We can move it to the place where we want. And if we don't like it, then we can just right click on it to select uh, delete other. And uh, if we want give it more decoration than how to do, we can just uh, double click on the curtain, the balance. Now we can see here there are some um, choices. Then we choose the border, choose down, and then give the size to 50 and give the interval to 20. And then we will give it to some others. It's very nice. Right? And uh, now we already decorated a very nice curtain. Okay, in our curtain design software, if we want to add some curtain parts to the software, then how to do it? We can just do it like what we did before in the wallpaper design or others. Then we just move the mouse here and right click on it to select add a new map group here. And we can see, please choose the type of material. We can choose the curtain body, curtain balance, curtain rod, curtain box, and curtain gauze, and others. Now we add uh, the, the curtain, curtain body, and I will give it a new limb. And the uh, curtain body. And then click on OK. Then here we can right click on it and then select add body. Then we find it from the file. And uh, here we have many different kinds of uh, curtain body. So we just uh, we need to choose it from the file in, in our computer. We just, uh, uh, because here we don't save it in this file, so we can back it to the, the path if we have the curtain body part. Okay, that's all for this class, and thanks for your watching.